everybody and welcome to Kids at Mid Church. My name is Karen and I am the Kids at Mid Church pastor. I am so excited that you have joined me today for the very first lesson in our brand new series called Moses and the Mission of God. Now, what is a mission? Well, a mission is something, a job, a task that we have to do for God. And over the next four lessons, we are going to see that Moses had a very important mission for God. So today we are going to start with the birth of Moses. And Moses had a very interesting arrival into this world because he arrived at a time that was really very, very scary if you were a Jewish baby boy. So let's cross to Bibliosaurus, who's going to share with us the story of Moses. But before we do that, we're going to sing our theme song for this series. And it's called, I'm Trusting You, God. Because when we have a mission for God, we have to trust Him that He will guide us and lead us so that we can complete our mission. Let's sing together, I'm Trusting You, God. Thank you. 
are going to look at the story of Moses' birth. And we can read all about that story in the book of Exodus. Do you know that Exodus is the second book of the Old Testament? And Moses' birth is recorded in chapters 1 and 2. But today, I've got a very cool video to show you that will tell you the story. I hope you enjoy it. See you on the other side. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses. Moses was a descendant of Joseph's brother, Levi. Hey. Joseph and his brothers had many children and grandchildren who lived happily in Egypt. Eventually, a new pharaoh came to power who knew nothing of Joseph or what he had done. This pharaoh feared the Israelites because there was a great number of them living in Egypt. So he wanted to put a stop to their prosperity. <laughs> Pharaoh made the Israelites slaves. He made them work long, hard hours building up Egyptian cities. But his plan didn't work, and the Israelites grew more in number and in strength. Eek. So Pharaoh made a rule that no Israelite boy would be allowed to live in Egypt. This is where Moses' story begins. You see, when Moses was born, his mother saw that he was a special baby. Hmm. And she kept him hidden for three months. <laughs> but when she could no longer keep him a secret, she made a basket and put him in the Nile River among the reeds. Moses' sister stayed to watch what would happen to her baby brother. And soon the Pharaoh's daughter came to the edge of the river. When she saw the basket, hey. she sent her servant to get it. When she saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, uh -huh. thinking he must be an Israelite baby who wasn't supposed to live. Then Moses' sister asked the princess if she would like her to find an Israelite woman to take care of the baby. Uh -huh. So Moses' sister went and got her mother. Moses' own mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's house, where the princess adopted him as her son. And so Moses, an Israelite boy who wasn't supposed to live, became the adopted grandson of the Pharaoh and lived in the palace as God prepared him for a great destiny that was only just starting to unfold. Phew. That was a cool story. God was with Moses. From the moment he was born, God was with Moses. God kept Moses safe. God was with Moses when he was hiding in his house. God was with Moses when he was hiding in the basket. And God was with Moses when he grew up in Pharaoh's palace. God had a mission for Moses. Karen told us that a mission is a job, a task that we have to do for God. And God was going to give Moses the job of helping set the Israelites free from slavery in Egypt. God used others to help make sure Moses could complete his mission. Let's just take a moment to think of all the people that helped to keep Moses safe and alive. Well, there was his mom and his sister and Pharaoh's daughter and Pharaoh's daughter's servant. It took other people to keep Moses safe and alive so that he could complete his mission 
that God had for him. You might say, Bibliosaurus, Moses lived such a long time ago. What does this story mean for me? Well, from today's story we learn that just like God was with Moses, God is with you. He has always been with you, even before you were born. God was with you and he will be with you forever. Just like God had a mission for Moses, God has a mission for you. God wants you to tell others about him so that they will get to know him too. And just like God used others to help Moses and keep him safe and alive so he could do his mission, God gives you people who will help you in your mission for him. That's it for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the lesson and learned a lot. The Bible is so cool. Bye-bye. See you next time. Thanks, Bibliosaurus. As always, it is so lovely to hear stories from the Bible. And Moses' birth was especially extraordinary. Guys, I think Moses would have been put into a pond that kind of looked like this. Isn't it very cool that he was saved and he was on his way to completing his mission for God? Well guys, that's our lesson. But before I go, as always, this series has a memory verse. When we go on a mission for God, we need to trust him completely. And our memory verse helps us to remember that whatever mission we're doing, God is with us and he will guide us. So our memory verse comes from Psalm 32 verse 8. And Psalms is in the Old Testament and it goes like this. The Lord says, I will guide you along the right paths for your life. I will advise you and I will watch over you. Should we do that again? The Lord says, I will guide you along the right path for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Isn't that amazing? Whatever we do for God, He is with us. He will guide us, He will advise us, He will watch over us. Amen? Amen, guys. Now we're going to end today with a wonderful song and it's called Shalom. Now Shalom is a Hebrew word that means peace. But it is so much more than just peace. When Jewish people greet each other, they say Shalom. And what they are actually saying is that I pray that you will experience complete peace with yourself, with God and with others. So, when we sing this song now, I pray shalom for you. I pray you will be at peace with yourself, with God and with others. Amen. See you guys next time. Bye!